is the keyboard from Google TCG, also known as Resident Reindeer Simp. Um, today I got a different part for Highlander, so I guess like, excuse the noise and stuff like that, we're all hyper overdressed right now, so yeah, don't play this. <laughs> I'm just joking, no, I'm just joking. Play whatever the hell you want, dude. Anyway, um, yeah, for starter? Alright, so first off, we run Angelic Star Coral for the starter. Now, I'm not running Coral cause, uh, as my starter because I like her. I absolutely, I absolutely hate Coral for the passion. But there's actually, like, I feel like it's a bit more consistent by better with some um, fresh star coral and stuff like that. So we actually run her as a starter. Uh, next. Oh, I can just do this. This is cool. Alright. Next one, run Carmine Jewel Vista. Amazing card, like, retires itself. Uh, we'll do the triggers later. Basically, what she does, she gives boost to something and then she retires itself at the end of turn, grab a CD1. And you get to bounce something, which is pretty cool. Again, the boost is really important. Next one, one Rainy Tears, Rainy Tears Dizzle. Basically, at the end of the battle, she boosted. Retire her, draw a card, CD1, put a grade 3 from, uh, deck, from drop to the deck. And you get to draw another one, so more draw power, fantastic. And you get to recycle your Ange and Lucina and your orders and all that kind of junk. Uh, next, run one, um, Cuddle Connect Vanessa. Uh, at the end of the end of the attack all boosted, which is important, because they get this attack with her. Uh, you put a break for the Dreader Cup, you said, on the bottom of your deck. And put this in Soul and draw a card. Now this card is also really good, because it's Soul Generation, it's the best you draw, and it recycles your great balls, because of that one, especially when they get stuck into your hand. So you need as many of those as possible. Uh, next we run one person for Burley, because we can only run one. And because it's Highlander. We already know what she does. Uh, one purple Empathy Betty, honestly, if you play against the Impact, this is called a Dialogue, because she's pretty much Dialogue. Uh, Mega out, Mega out, plays, she builds top 7, and then all the normal units will be on different card names, put one card from your hand in the bottom of your, in the bottom of your deck, and you can put one card from among those to your hand. So basically, it's a switch around, uh, it's like a top 7 searcher for like, literally anything you fucking want in Highlander, so it's really, really strong. Um, next. Fresh Star Coral, again, it's the reason why, because she has an on right skill, so we can draw an extra card. That's really important, you put one card in the soul, so it's like soul generation, so if you end up having a booster, it's pretty cool. Um, next, one special message Aurora, because Aurora also has like sort of a uh, filtering ability as well. And it's hard, it's hard to end with her, but you know. They get like really really and, uh, like, yeah. One officious luscious Thoria. Now Thoria when the attack is boosted hits the Vanguard, you retire her, and then you look at the top card, put it on top of bottom, and then you draw one. So it's a bit of an OTT scrying here. And uh, it's just it's just another way for you to sort of like see what's on top and like mess around with your deck. You get the pieces you need. Next, the mid idol said now, this isn't triple red, this is pro extra poor fuck. Um, during a turn, if you have another unit and say, Tom's a unit, plus 5k, you know, get your generic uh, great three searcher. One of the easiest conditions to fulfill, probably one of the best great three searchers probably in the game. So, yeah. And I think this is the last one. Oh, it's not. Um, one distinguished rank grand card, when the deck hits, draw a card, retire her, look at top two, and you put one from your hand, one among those into your hand, and then one to the drop. So basically, it's like, it's pretty like, uh, it's really really good because uh, it's a way to get like radio if you're not missing her into your hand. It's a way to just like sort of ditch other stuff. So it's fantastic, I think. Last grade one, um, Apple Watch Deck here. Now, I end up breaking a lot with grade fours. I end up having them in my hand like in the start of the game. So this is just another right target. So that turns the second one again just in case your first one is hit. So it's really really nice. Alright, so I'm going to see the uh, grade two. Run. Titan back to Echoes. Now Echoes is uh, probably the best, one of the best great twos in the deck. Um, when your Vanguard is placed, you can have it get plus 5k. And if the Vanguard is going to the greater, you still plus 3 and draw 2 cards. Everybody's running this card in the Highland and Japanese this because this card is so fucking good. It's just the extra draw power with the amount of soul this card that they generate, it's so easy to do. And you know, you can search, it's searchable for and then ride, it's so cool. It's just such a great card for like that. And like, if you're not running it in Highlander, then you make it a mistake. Uh, can't sit better NS. This is a Bowdeck card. In place, see you on Summer's one, and she gets plus 5k. And if you call another Rigard this turn, you draw a card. So it's just another way to really fuck your hands on that. One of my earlier, like, ideas for playing uh, Highlander was to make sure that I could um, refund every card I dropped so that I didn't have to lose that advantage and stuff like that. So this is one of the cards that I've just been stuck in the Highlander for a long time. So I think this card's one of the better great teams around. It's 9k, sadly. Is that no 9k base, sadly? But again, unless you ride it, it's not, it's not even going to be too much of a problem if you ride it. Uh, next, you're on Charging Egg Metro. 
to end the event, yeah, end the battle, she attacks. Yeah. If you want, you put her into salt, you draw one, and one of you gets a plus tattoo on its head. It's very similar to Kitsu and Bananas, but like, she puts herself into salt and gets something else on her instead. You both draw, it's pretty good, and uh, it's just maybe if you have a terror out, it's just another way to pump terror, or it's just an extra way to draw. And Exile is really important in this day. First, the Furla, because you're in the Furla and you need both. Um, Shiny Star Coral. The place, Soul Chat 1, if you have Mega Coral and Scott him, Soul Chat 1. So sometimes you ride this, you Soul Chat 2, it's hilarious. Uh, but the act ability is really, really strong as well. So plus 2, which you get plus 10k. And uh, the 20k on its force marker is really strong, it's 30k. It's, a lot of stuff has, yeah, stuff has a lot of restanding and stuff as well. So you might as well just run it. Next, uh, Master of the Top of Mine. Mine is really, really funny in this deck because you might think, oh, hang on. Why would I run Mine? Why would you run Mine? It's like you draw two, but then you have to put three back. Well, the thing is, you put three of your grade threes and fours that are stuck in the particular hand, but you put them all back into the deck, and you shuffle, and then you end up shuffling. It's really good that you draw first of all, because then you can just put it, you can just utilize that as easy as possible, and it makes it very, very, like, effective in, like, messing around with your deck and making sure you get stuck in it. Next, uh, top battle, Aqua, again, is promo from the full fuck. Um, you get another unit in the same column, plus 5k, still on the center. I one place, I can bounce one river, that's a normal unit, and I draw one. Then you have to discard one, and it's a hard one for turn. So, top of Aqua is really, really strong, I think, because it bounces stuff that you like, for example, QQ and stuff like that, you have a place, so ETB still can go off again. So, there's a bit of an MTG magic turn for you. Uh, next round, Chuck got a lot hard, there's a lot, there's a lot, whatever. Uh, there's, there's been the best guys here with Bermuda Triangle for years, for like years, and I think it's just gonna stay that way. So good that you have to get reprinted. Um, look at Pokal, you're dead. Call to re call to re open this cell, like, half off the turn. It's really, really good. Next, uh, Electric Essence is Sistica. So you can, if any player's Rigon was returned to hand, she gets plus 10k. And when you place, you put a normal unit from your drop zone on the bottom of your deck. If you put a grade 3 or greater unit, you choose one of your opponent's green cards, and that can't stand. So it's got a, a bit of mixed money stuff, but the, the main issue, the main thing is, you're putting stuff, grade 4s and stuff, from your drop zone back to your deck. And that's really, really, really good. Last grade 2, we run multiple uh, Shine Mirado. So one place, two, you want, draw one, and you look at top 7, and then you top 7, and ride any one of these you find in the top 7. So sometimes the, the funniest thing is always getting uh, there's a lot of Murata or getting Coral of Murata and stuff like that. Getting like Soul Charge too, you get a lot of like, Soul, soul shit. So it's really really strong. Um, many runners have just got the tears on place draw on the Vanguard circle. So like again, to highlight that advantage kind of thing. So you want to be getting as much of that as possible. So yeah, that's it for the grade ones and the grade twos. Now we're on to the grade threes and stuff like that. I guess we'll do this a different way. Uh, Alright, uh, so first, we run 4 reindeer. Of course, we're going to have to show off the uh, SP. Uh, bling it in and bling it in and out. Uh, basically, reindeer is the lifeline of the deck. Uh, when she is in deck, when it's revealed by a card effect, she becomes a trigger. She turns herself to a trigger unit. So, she turns all your Highlander skills on. And that's really, really strong. Because a Highlander requires a deck to have trigger. That big triggers, and it's really, really strong. And it's like, it just makes sure that um, they will never win. Now, the, her end of battle skill is just absolutely nutty, fantastic, and I've heard the last one almost right, to be honest. At the end of the battle, we attack, I, uh, the cost is discard two, and you reveal top, card, top 10 cards from your deck. And if they all, if all normal units have different names, you choose one of the cards from among them and ride it. Uh, you don't have to ride, however, you don't have to ride, however, it's an extra attack, and you're discarding two, so you might as well ride anyway. And, um, I stand, and then you shuffle your deck. And then you get to ride minus one, two, and a turn. You end of the turn, put that unit on the bottom of your deck, and then ride a great great card from your soul and rest. You don't have to ride, you don't have to ride her, so you don't have to go to your soul, you can ride that. However, it's always better to ride her, because she gives you the marker generation. This deck accelerates markers. At a very similar spec uh, pace to Luard. Can be quicker depending if you hit Inezka or Angie or anything like that. And it's just, it's just incredibly strong, I thought, and I really, really like it. So, yeah. Uh, next for the one also, the one else, then the one order. The order card actually puts a great three or above from drop to uh, deck. So it's a lot of recursion. The Magic Strike is a lot of recursion. And it's really, really strong, I think, because you need to make sure you can, like, Keep going, you make sure you don't lose steam, and you might end up ripping yourself with all the young targets that you run. 
Uh, so we need to make sure we have lots of cards. Like we have lots of cards in this card, and we need to make sure we have cards that um, put the cards that we just got back into the deck. And also, well, we got to do a draw one, so it responds itself. I'm pretty sure. Uh, next, we're on one key today. You don't really want to ride this on brain deal, but basically, you win place, you're, uh, you may declare a card name, so you better remember all your cards. Uh, in the official rulings, for Bush Road and Q&A, you don't have to name the, name the exact name of the card, just as long as you can determine to tell your opponent what the card looks like, or get a part of the name right, then you'll be able to get that off. So, don't worry if you can't remember the exact name. Um, if you didn't reveal some cards in your deck, until you reveal the declared card, or a normal unit with the same no card name as you can't reveal by effect. So basically, if you reveal two normal units, the effect works, and you can't, and you pretty much can't get anything. But if you reveal the reveal unit, or if you reveal the declared unit, that's your hand. So that's really, really so I think pretty much, since my deck runs one of everything anyway, this card guarantees you, like, uh, guarantees you any card in your deck. So it's really, really strong. Next one, one Shishu Debut Stage Terror. So we're going to replace, choose any number of normal units on the replace graveyard circle and return to the hand. So you have more cards to return, she gets part of 15k until end of turn. And now she's also like, sort of suited the cross as well with graveyard, she looks to suit the cross. So at the end of the battle that she attacks, if there are, if there are three or more replays where you got to return to hand this turn, you CB1 and discard 1, you stand here, and she gets drive minus 1 until end of turn. So you can work with Anne, she gets 6 attacks, or you can ride her on brain deal and get 3 bank down attacks, which is incredibly, which is incredibly strong. Uh, next, Hartman is Hartman Pina. Uh, so last turn, you look at several cards on your deck, you put the one normal unit from Mangu, you call it from Mangu to the radar, and then you shop your deck. You call it Pina, you get the boss, and you put that marker on the radar that you have on. We don't really use so much for this skill, unless you have like a first like, spell system that you might want to ride, that's pretty cool. When the attacks are, we, we use it mainly for the one attack skill. So if you want, just send all your radar to the circles with the boss marker. So basically, this causes 6 attacks, and it's just like another way to withstand your pearl and some other cards, so it's really really strong. Next we run 1 performance Pepper Performance Angie. When it attacks, CB1, choose any number of normal units from any place where you got circles, return them to your hand, and activate all the effects below according to the number of cards returned. So if you return 2, he gets plus 10. If you return 3, you get an attack, you get force, and she gets plus 10. You draw 4, you search your card for 1 unit, call it to break out circle, you jump 4, you get force, and she gets plus 10k. So basically, it just gives you a massive amount of just like a free advantage as well when you're bouncing stuff. So the cards that you can normally can't gun with just add back to your hand. Uh, she gets a force, she's got force generation, she gets plus 10k, and she gets you an extra attack or whatever, or an extra utility as well, which is incredibly strong. I think like Andy's probably one of the better great in the set personally. Uh, but of course, I think Quan is still the best set. What about the great, uh, what about the great force? Run. Of course, this is going to Olivia. Olivia, when I attack the Vanguard, she's a 5 year Rhaegar. If all the chosen Rhaegar are different names, uh, or stand all of them. If you stand 3 or more, she gets crit. So you don't have to actually choose, like, if you have 3 Rhaegars, you can choose 3, and they all stand. So no matter what, she will stand a bunch of Rhaegars. No cost to stand. But, she'll only get the crit if you stand 3 or more. So, just be mindful of that. However, so the Olivia is really strong, freestanding pearls, fantastic for the game. Uh, one unparalleled, unparalleled ingenuity Laura. Uh, when placed, you will top 10 cards from your deck. And if all the normal units are built in different card names, call any number of them. Uh, another real card is to bring out circle. And then you get plus 10k into end of turn, then shuffle your deck. So basically, it's just like you call, you just refund, you reveal your boards and stuff like that, and you call them all with 10k, and it's very, very strong as well. You're also like deck thinning. Uh, leaving triggers, leaving, leaving triggers in the deck, and stuff like that. So Lura does a lot of work and stuff like that. So it's the reason why it's really people wanted her a lot. It's uh, just making six attacks just bonkers. And last but not least, one heart monopoly in Ezra. So in place, you reveal ten cards from the top of your deck and shuffle your deck. If all the normal units revealed have different card names, you get one before, one force, one excel, and one protect in any order. So basically, you get like excel, you get to have all three gifts and stuff like that. So she creates six gifts with a reindeer. If you, if you like, this one, this off of that. But like, uh, you don't really want to use it multiple times. You only want to focus on it at once. So it's like basically. It's like a one-off kind of thing. Like one kind of thing. You hit her fantastic. You then hit her, then it's not really good. Last but not least, we've got the trigger ladder. Uh, we actually run six crit. Six draw. And four heal. We run the six crit because 
as he much as we want crits and stuff like that, we want to extend pressure and stuff like that. Pelicius is heavily crit in the build, but then Lydia gives us some crit as well. So crits aren't really like necessarily needed too much. So like that. We got six draws as well because we want to keep throwing into stuff. We want to keep making sure that we have enough hand to activate ranges and um, ranges plus and stuff like that. We want to make sure we don't have a neg on that. So we're trying to grow on six draws. We want to get our pieces as well. Because this deck is like not, not exactly reliant on like searching, it's more reliant on like drawing into your pieces and stuff like that. So we run the draws for that. Really good defensively as well, so it really helps out the deck. And the four heals is kind of obvious, we run four heals because like miracle healing is cool. Uh yeah, I don't really go through I didn't really I don't really need to talk about the market. You only went force one, they go force two, you go force two, you're an idiot. Uh reason why book sailing is fun. Uh yeah, so that's pretty much it. Love the map. Give me some If this deck is very, very expensive, I think, right now. Because this card's like currently like hundred dollars in base rate. This card's like fifty dollars in base rate. Don't bother building this deck if you want to save for overdress, because I think this is cool. We'll give our thoughts on the matter eventually, stuff like that, and uh yeah. So we'll have, we'll be having some days with this soon. So no, yep, yeah, that's it for the um, profile. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more uh, Final Mega content. And uh, yeah, especially especially if you haven't subscribed and stuff like that. A lot of our viewers watch our videos, right? But they don't subscribe, you know? And that's kind of, you know, you don't really get like, we, we don't we really like, uh, the only way you can tell is if they advertise and stuff like that. So, I mean, you subscribe, helps us, helps you, you get more content and stuff like that. So, yeah. Timo, out.